when we go deal with a breakup, a lot of the times we just hand over power. We forget how much we are worth. We, we literally bring ourselves down, you know, not intentionally, you know, just naturally, you know, it's, it's, it's the reactive way of our, of our, of our, you know, brain. But we bring ourselves down to a point where we literally don't see the worth that we have. And that makes us feel more upset and that makes us feel more um, depressed, more miserable because it's as if we have, as I said, nothing else to live for, you know. Hey, welcome back to Gaming About Life, the channel where we play video games, we talk about life, and hopefully you get something good out of this video, something that will make you happier, something that will make you better, something that will make you wiser, something that will help you in your life today, because that's the objective of the channel. Today we're back to playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne, um, and today I want to talk about a topic that is kind of hard to talk about, <laughs> it's kind of hard to deal with it too, uh, which is how to deal with a breakup. Um, oops, I forgot I had to take the quest. <laughs> um, basically, I'm gonna... Oh, I just want to say this. I think the first thing I want to cover is, I believe, after my few years of experience with relationships, both good and bad, well, not bad, it's not always, it's not, you know, it's, it wasn't a bad relationship, it was just, it was just an experience, <laughs> um, is, I believe that it's about 80% perspective and about 20% emotion. Yes, it may feel like your emotions are 100% of it, and that's how we normally react. That's how we normally deal, quote-unquote, deal with relationships. Like, we just react to them. We just emotionally react to them, you know. Oh, you know, they cheated on me, or they did this, or they did, they did that, um, and that's it. And, you know, you, you lash out, you, you cry for, you know, days, you, you know, you let your emotions take, you know, over. Pretty much let them take over. Now, I'm not saying that that's a good or a bad thing. It's it just it is what it is. You know, it, that's how your body reacts. That's how we humans react. There's nothing wrong with it. But in saying that, you can do a few things to change that. Which, as I said, I think it comes down to you know really at the end of it. If you wanna if you wanna change your your you know the way you deal with a breakup, it's think about what you're feeling start asking yourself okay why am i feeling this way you know um oh there it is um why am i feeling this way how you know is it really this bad you know and i think that's a really important question like is it really this bad you know is this relationship is this breakup really this bad you know it a lot of the times it's not you know a lot of the times it doesn't have to be um a lot of the times it's you know you're, you're letting your emotions Again, which is fine. Just take the best of you, you know, and let and you're uh, unbalanced, you know. That's what I'm saying. That it comes down to perspective. Because if in the moment where you know you're feeling, you know, all of this, all of this, um, you know, avalanche of emotions, if you can manage to bring some clarity, you know, into your thought process, you know, and what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> ah. Um. Oop. Um, and you can, you know, take a second to be like, okay, let me, let me take a, let, let me take a moment here and, and really just calm down, you know, calm down. This is not as bad as it is, you know, maybe there's a reason to all of this and etc. etc. And then if you can start to think like, okay, maybe this wasn't meant to be, maybe, maybe this is just... You know, it's a breakup, but, you know, maybe maybe things are going to work out again. Or maybe, you know, maybe we do need some time off. Like, I don't know what, what it is. You know, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what kind of breakup you're going through. But maybe, just maybe, if you take some time to think about it, you will feel less pressured. You will feel less bad. You would feel, um, you would feel less, you know... You feel less pain, you feel less worried, you feel, you just feel better because you're taking time to calm your emotions down and clear your head, you know. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's easier said than done, but I really believe that a breakup can be dealt better when you realize that it's more about perspective, about how you see it, than how you're actually feeling. 
because it's easy. It's so easy. It's so easy for us to get caught up in, you know, the ah, in the emotions. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and I don't blame you. You can't, you shouldn't blame yourself. You know, it's just part of life. It is just part of life. But with that in mind, now, now knowing this, maybe, just maybe, next time you go through a breakup, or if you're going through one right now, you know, um, just realize that it doesn't have to be as bad as as everybody makes it out to be. You know, it doesn't have to be. You know, oh, I missed. Hit. God damn it. <laughs> um, the thing about it, just, just, you know, think about it for a bit. Um, okay, another thing, which I think this is one of the most important things as well, um, is when dealing with a breakup, please, 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 please. Okay, hold on, can we take a second to see this, these guys battle it out? <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> um... Uh, okay, are you gonna stay here? Okay, this is okay. This is not good though. <laughs> you need to go away, sir. Right, actually, let's send you away. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while. That's gonna be my excuse. So here's another very, very important thing to keep in mind. When you go through a breakup, you need to value and respect yourself. And not only that, you need to realize that you, most of the time, are over-glorifying that person. You know, I'm not saying that person, you know, wasn't important as they were. I'm not saying that they don't value, you know, uh, they don't need, uh, they don't deserve the value that you're giving them. But, <laughs> but a lot of the times we over-glorify that person. We, and all what I mean is, is we act, we literally act as if, what is happening? What am I getting hit by? <laughs> oh, we act as if they were just everything. You know, they were everything in our life. Like, we have nothing else good going for us. <laughs> you know, that's how we react. And that is simply not true. And that is simply not true. You have so much more to live for. You have so much more to be grateful for. And that person isn't the end of it all, you know? Oh, ooh, okay, I'm glad that I missed, actually. <laughs> um, so let, let me just repeat again, just so it... it, it I make sure that I'm saying exactly what I want to say because <laughs> again, it is hard to concentrate on a game and talk about these things Ah, there's bugs in front of me <laughs> um, Value yourself remember what you're worth Remember what you are worth and don't over glorify the person that you know You just broke up with or just broke up with you, whatever <laughs> oh, oh, Jeez, okay That's that one um Okay, what did I do? I shot my thing, and I don't know how I shot it with... What is happening? <laughs> oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Oh, no, good idea, good idea. <laughs> um, don't over-glorify them. Because, yes, they might be amazing. They might have brought so much, you know, happiness in your life. That's fine. I, I'm not... I don't want to take that away from you. I, and I'm not, and I shouldn't, you know, take that away from you. But... When we go deal with a breakup, a lot of the times, we just hand over power. We forget how much we are worth. We we literally bring ourselves down, you know, not intentionally, you know, just naturally. You know, it's 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 the reactive way of our of our of our you know brain. But we bring ourselves down to a point where we literally don't see the worth that we have, and that makes us feel more upset, and that makes us feel more um, depressed, more miserable because. It's as if we have, as I said, nothing else to live for, you know, as if nothing else was as valuable as that relationship. And hey, maybe it was, okay? Maybe it was. Maybe that's what you were, you know, that's what, that maybe that was the biggest highlight of your life. Maybe it was. Still, still, please uh, take in consideration that you... You, there's a whole world out there. There's a lot more things for you to live for. There's a lot more things for you to discover. There are 7.6 billion people out in the world that you can meet, you know, and they and they could be your next, you know, your next love. They could be your next, um, you know, partner. They could be your next best friend. Like, you just don't know. You just don't know what you don't know. So please. Remember your value. Remember how much you are worth. Remember how you know precious you are because you are. 
And next time you go through a breakup, or if you're going through it right now, remember that you deserve better, okay? And they deserve better too, you know? Like, you guys just maybe weren't meant for each other, and that's okay. That is simply okay. Get, oof. Okay, I was not expecting that. Holy crap. Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> um, please remember that it is okay to feel what you're feeling. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Can you stop now? Um, <laughs> I can't see anything. Um, so yes, it is okay to feel what you're feeling. It is okay to go through what you're going through. We're all going to go through breakups, okay? We're all going to go through breakups. Everybody goes through them. Everybody goes through a toxic relationship. And, you know, it's just it's just how it is. We got to learn. We have to learn. And, you know, go, going through it ooh, is how you learn. Ah. Okay, I... I it, See how it's locked in the camera? That... Okay, anyways. <laughs> I was just gonna... Anyhow. Um, lastly. Lastly, I really want to cover this point. Let me just get some health back. And this... This this, this might either make you click out of the video, or this might make you go like... He's onto something. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, anyhow. Okay, just bear with me. But who said... Who said that we have to feel sad and upset and miserable when we go through a breakup? So that, did, did, I know, it sounds kind of psychotic. It kind of, you know, it kind of sounds bad. But really... Have you, oh my goodness, <laughs> have you thought about it? Have you thought about the fact that we are all conditioned, you know, in a way that when, yes, somebody passes away, we feel sad. When some, when we go through a breakup, we feel upset. When we lose our job, we feel upset. Yes, I'm not saying that that's, that's you know, wrong or anything. No, no, no. I'm saying that, and, and, and please, that is, like I said, that is our human reaction okay it's okay but what i'm saying is we i think the issue is that we are conditioned to continue you know to feel that way you know over days and days and days yes grieving is fine grieving is part of life it, you know it's all okay but who said that we have to who said that we have to you know feel so upset and and you know linger on that feeling for days over days who said you know we have to you know that we can't who said that we can't feel okay the next day who said you know because what, what i'm trying to say here is i think it's more it comes down more to like a point of view of what people think of you you know like oh okay you know is it you know i i, I went through a breakup out 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 yep <laughs> i went through a breakup and but you know the next day i was actually kind of fine and then you think like oh is that a like is, am I okay? Like, why did I feel fine? Like, you know, it's because we're not used to thinking this way. We're not used to thinking that after a breakup, after, you know, a loss, it's kind of okay to feel okay, you know? It's kind of fine to feel fine after, you know, a few days. Like, I think we get caught up in, you know, in thinking that, oh, no, you know, uh, uh, it's gonna take me weeks, you know, and, and we say that as well, and that's, and I've done videos on vocabulary, you know, we keep saying to ourselves, like, oh, no, yeah, you know, it's gonna take me, you know, months to get over this, it's gonna take me such a long time, like, when in reality, it might not, it might not, you know, it's okay, if you go through a breakup today over, like, you know, a relationship that you had for over, like, five, ten years, it's okay to, oh, this is not good, yep, <laughs> It's okay to um, feel better the next day. It's okay to, you know, get over it. It is okay, you know. Like, don't think that you're just cold and you don't have emotions and that, you know, you really didn't love them. Like, don't, don't, that, that's, like, it's okay. It's okay to recover quickly, you know. It's, it's highly recommended, <laughs> you know. It's just that we're not used to, you know, having people accept this you know every time because think about it because every time you know that somebody you know recovers from something very quickly or, or the next day they're like oh you know what i'm actually not that upset like you know 
it it's seen as something bad it seems as like oh wow like you know you really you didn't like that person that much then you know it's like oh wow like you know you i think you're kind of cold hearted like no that's not it that's not it it is okay to recover from a heartbreak it is completely fine no matter how long it takes you know and that's what i'm saying who said that it has to take a while you know like you you do you whatever you need to do to help you recover is fine you know if you're forcing yourself in the next in the very next day to be happy like and people are like oh my god how can you be happy you know after like how can you not you know why shouldn't you you know because at the end of the day happiness you know love compassion you know joy that's all we have that's all we take with us you know so after such you know uh, and think about this as well after such a, a hardship that you just went through like emotional roller coaster why wouldn't you give yourself you know the the pleasure of treating yourself of making you feel, yourself feel good you know like however you do it that's up to you you know and then if you feel guilty after doing whatever you did that's up to you i can't change that you know then that's you that's a, a conversation you have to have with yourself you know your morals but please Please understand that it's okay to go through, a, you know, a heartbreak, to go through, you know, the end of a relationship, a marriage even, you know, and the very next day and two days later and a week later, feel fine. It's not just because your neighbor or your best friend took, you know, a month to recover that you have to as well. Everybody's different. Oh my goodness, this, this freaking blade, Beyblade. <laughs> Are you done? Okay, you're done. Uh, he's finally limping. Uh, did he drop? Yeah, he did drop. Um, it's okay, all right? I'm telling you, it's okay. And hey, you don't have to believe me, but just, just think about it. Just think about it, you know? Um, it's like, I don't want to mention, I know it's a little bit different. It's a bit, a bit of a different topic, but I do want to mention this. Um, ow, it's stupid. <laughs> um, it's like when I was saying, like, you know, when somebody passes away, like, who says, who says that we have to... Um, grieve for so long like hey if you want to do it internally if you want to do it at your own time that's fine you know that, that's okay but who says that you know we can't throw a party for you know that person who passed away you know like um, surely they would want you to be happy you know like why would they want you to grieve so much like hey they understand that you love them great you know you show them you you, you live that you know a loving life great but who said that you have to absolutely you know be miserable be be like you know it's the same it, like i said it's the same for any type of, of loss you know who said you can't just go out the next day and you know do whatever you need to do go play a sport party you know hang out with friends who said you can't do that you know if it makes you happy if it helps you recover if it helps what i didn't know he did that <laughs> um <laughs> if it helps you then do it then do it, you know. Nobody can judge you. Okay, nobody can judge you. They will. They probably will. But they have no right, you know. And you don't need to take it. You don't need to accept it, you know. What? What the? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so you don't need to accept it. Um, whew. Oh, my goodness. He's annoying. Oh, here he comes, Beyblade. Oh, here we go again. Third time? Third time? Ah, not today. <laughs> um, I threw a flash bomb. <laughs> um, so, look, in the end, I really want you to understand that whatever you feel, whatever process you need to go through for you to, you know, recover, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry about what other people say, if they judge you, if they, you know, criticize you. They're not you. They're not going through what you're going through, you know. They're not going through the same type of um, loss, you know. Everybody deals with it differently. So, you just take care of yourself the best way that you can. And just know that there are a lot of different ways that you can go through specific situations. You know, like I said, I think it, everything in life comes down to perspective. How you see everything. Um, and knowing that, it, it, could, it could really help you, you know, deal with this uh, situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, no matter how hard it is and at the end of the day I believe in you I truly do I know you got this I know it's gonna be 
hard, you know, no matter how much, you know, how much you train for and how much you prepare for, uh, how, you know, how much you, 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 you try to make yourself strong. It's okay. We're all going to have, you know, really, uh, really tough times. We're all going to have really, you know, mentally and emotionally draining moments in our lives. And that's okay. So I'm going to leave this video here. We're almost done. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If there's anything that I could do to help you, if this video made sense to you, please let me know. Leave a comment down below or just hit a like. That helps me know that, you know, this video helped you too. Um, and I would love to see you in the next video. So take care and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If it made sense to you, if it helped you at all, if you brought you value, consider leaving a like that's just down below. It takes you a second and it helps the channel grow so much and helps me know that this video made a difference to somebody today. And if you want to see more of this video, if you like the content and if you want to get notified too, subscribe and hit the little bell that's next to it because that way you get notifications whenever a new video is up. And if you think that, you know, there's somebody in your life that needs to hear this message and see a video like this, then consider sharing the video too. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything that I can do for you, please leave a comment down below. Reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.